Secret to Unlock Organizational Excellence Stages of Continuous Improvement Lean Continuous Improvement LCI is a specific approach to CI that combines the principles of lean manufacturing with the practices of CI Lean manufacturing emphasizes eliminating waste and streamlining processes while CI focuses on continuous learning and improvement By combining these two methodologies LCI provides a comprehensive framework for achieving sustainable organizational growth. But before we start moving forward make sure to subscribe channel and click on the bell icon. Sprint Seal provides training programs, certification programs on their websites. If you're interested in them do check out the links in the description. The four key stages of continuous improvement. Stage 1: Plan. The planning stage is the first and most important step in the CI process. In this stage, organizations need to identify and prioritize areas for improvement. This can be done by collecting data, conducting surveys, or holding brainstorming sessions with employees. Once areas for improvement have been identified, organizations need to develop a plan to address them. This plan should include specific goals, objectives, and timelines. Here are some key steps in the planning stage. Define the problem or opportunity to be addressed. Set clear and measurable goals for improvement. Identify stakeholders and assign roles and responsibilities. Develop a plan of action, including timelines and resources. Communicate the plan to all stakeholders. Stage 2: Do. The do stage is where organizations implement the changes they have planned. This may involve training employees on new processes, introducing new technology, or making changes to workflows. It is important to track progress during this stage and make adjustments as needed. Here are some key steps in the do stage. Implement the plan changes. Train employees on new processes or technologies. Monitor and track progress against goals. Make adjustments as needed. Stage 3: Check. The check stage is where organizations evaluate the results of the changes they have made. This is done by collecting data and measuring progress against the goals that were set in the planning stage. If the changes have been successful, organizations can move on to the act stage. If not, organizations need to identify and address any problems that are preventing them from achieving their goals. Here are some key steps in the check stage. Collect data on the impact of the changes. Analyze data to identify trends and patterns. Identify any unintended consequences. Determine if the changes are achieving the desired outcomes. Stage 4: Act. The act stage is where organizations take necessary actions to standardize and sustain the improvements they have made. This may involve documenting new processes, providing ongoing training, or making changes to policies and procedures. It is important to make continuous improvement a part of the organization's culture and to ensure that everyone is committed to the process. Here are some key steps in the act stage. Standardize new processes or procedures. Train employees on new skills or knowledge. Make changes to organizational policies or systems. Communicate the changes to all stakeholders. Celebrate successes and recognize achievements. Monitor and sustain the improvements over time. Stage 5: Measure. The first additional stage is to measure current performance levels. This involves collecting data on various aspects of the organization's operations such as production output, defect rates, customer satisfaction, and employee engagement. By measuring performance, organizations can establish a baseline from which to track progress and identify areas that require improvement. Purpose: Gather quantitative and qualitative data to assess the current state of processes, products, or services. Identify areas where lean process improvements are needed. Methods: Collect data through various methods such as surveys, interviews, observations, 
and performance metrics. Analyze data using appropriate statistical tools and techniques. Stage 6. Analyze Once performance data has been collected, it is essential to analyze it to understand the underlying causes of any problems or inefficiencies. This may involve statistical analysis, root cause analysis, or other techniques to identify the factors that are contributing to performance gaps. By understanding the root causes, organizations can develop targeted solutions that address the specific issues at hand. Purpose Interpret the collected data to identify trends, patterns, and root causes of problems. Gain insights into the underlying factors affecting performance and outcomes. Methods Use data visualization techniques to present findings in a clear and understandable manner. Employ problem-solving tools, such as root cause analysis, to identify the root causes of issues. Stage 7. Standardize After successful implementation of improvement initiatives, it is crucial to standardize the new processes or procedures to ensure consistency and sustainability. This involves documenting the revised processes, training employees on the new methods, and incorporating the changes into standard operating procedures. Standardization helps to prevent the organization from reverting to old habits and ensures that the improvements are maintained over time. Purpose Document and implement best practices identified through the CI process. Ensure consistency and repeatability of improved processes. Methods Develop and maintain standardized procedures, guidelines, and templates. Train employees on the standardized practices to ensure proper implementation. Stage 8. Sustain Continuous improvement is not a one-time event, it is an ongoing process that requires continuous monitoring and maintenance. The final stage, sustain, involves tracking progress over time, identifying any deviations from the desired outcomes, and taking corrective actions as needed within the continuous improvement process. It is crucial to embed CI into the organization's culture and ensure that all employees are committed to the systematic and continual improvement process. Purpose Monitor and maintain the improvements achieved through the CI process. Prevent regression and ensure long-term sustainability of improvements. Methods Establish regular performance reviews and audits to track progress and identify potential issues. Foster a culture of continuous learning and improvement to maintain momentum. If you found this video informative and useful, we'll always bring new concepts explained for you. So stay tuned with Sprint Seal and if you like the video do share. If have any doubts or queries do let us know in the comment section. Use the coupon code YouTube10 in our website to get 10% off on all our courses.